Well, let's begin by discussing the different types of hose that we carry. In our inventory, we have industrial hose, hydraulic hose, metal hose, and Teflon hose. And we actually carry more hose and fittings in our inventory than any other industrial distributor. Our hose can either be sold in bulk or fabricated by our technicians and our hose crimping technology. We have state-of-the-art equipment as well as hose specialists that have been working with us for a very long time. Right now we have 17 hose and rubber locations that are strategically placed across the U.S. That way we can get to our customers as quickly as possible. Now there are several ways that you can put a hose together. For industrial and hydraulic hose, we crimp the fitting, sleeve or ferrule that's at the end of the hose by using our crimping machine. For industrial hose, you can also use a banding machine. We can also bolt a fitting on a hose using bolt clamps. There are different types of clamps that you could use to secure a fitting and hose together. For metal hose, we would go to our metal hose department. Here, we weld the inner core, the braids, the braid sleeves, and the fittings. Assembling a hose is just one task, but assembling a hose that works properly, well, that's the real key. And we have different testing methods to ensure that the hose is at the highest quality and won't fail in our customers' applications. The first type of test that we do is a hydrostatic pressure test. We run water in the hose and bring it up to a high pressure and then check to see if any of the fittings have moved. We can also run a burst test where we bring the pressure of the hose so high that the hose actually burst. All of this is done inside of our burst test tank. There is a working pressure for a hose and then there is a burst pressure. Everyday business we try to get everything out within one to three days. Same day delivery when necessary. If the word is communicated, we can do same-day delivery. It really depends on the type of product and the lead time. We can definitely work within the customer's expectations. Another important capability that our hose and rubber shops have is the fact that we are heavily involved in the belt business. And let's begin by talking about some of the end users who could benefit from our belt services. We stock two, three, four ply belt standard material. You'd find it just about any aggregate handling um, concrete batch plant anywhere that that, uh, um, that a heavy weight belt might be. Wood, lumber, uh, pulp and paper and those are also products that have special compounds that we're stocking here also. We stock specialty belts for the mining industry, rip and tear resistant belts, also um, fire retardant materials, um, which are which are in stock. Lightweight end users, food grade, pharmaceutical, um, package handling, distribution centers, metal stamping, paper printing. Um, all of them utilize a great great deal of belt, and they're all available out of our inventory. We do lacing, both heavyweight and lightweight. We do um, finger punching for lightweight belts, thermoplastic belts. We do lap and vulcanized splices for lightweight and for heavyweight belt. We do uh, thermoplastic PVC cleating and V-guiding, uh, both for food grade and, um, and standard material. Um, we do sky splicing and uh, thermofix splicing for the paper and printing industry. Uh, we do hole punching and fully lagging in-house. Standard lead times for cut products are one day. So if a cut piece of belt or standard gasket, we can turn that around in a day, depending on volume, of course. Um, lace belts, two to three days. Uh, cleated belts, five to six days. Endless belts, probably three to five days, on average. Let's conclude with talking about gaskets. My first question is, where exactly are gaskets used? Everywhere. Chemical, um, oil, gas, pharmaceutical, food. I mean, you name it, there's just about every place is going to have a gasket of some sort. Whether it's sealing a door or whether it's actually sealing a pipe. Huh. So if the demand for gaskets are so high, then how do we manufacture them? Yeah, the, the standard for the industry had always been um, steel dies with, uh, with swinging head presses or clamshell presses 
and you'd have to send it out to have that die made and created so you'd have the cost of the die a couple hundred bucks maybe even a couple of thousand dollars depending on how detailed they were and then uh, of course manually laying out where you're cutting it moving the die over the position of the material that you want to cut so you're talking about going from a couple of weeks turnaround or maybe even as as quick as 10 day turnaround to um, going and doing it in 30 minutes wow going from a 10 day turnaround to a 30 minute turnaround <laughs> it's quite the time saver not to mention a pure volume of gaskets that can be produced within that time saved and the reason that we can do this is because of a machine called the flash cutter. But how does a flash cutter actually work? It is a reciprocating blade that cuts through the material. Um, the shape of that material is loaded through a CAD drawing. Uh, the CAD drawing is then transferred to the machine. Um, and the, the outline of that product that you're trying to cut is projected onto the sheet material that you're going to be cutting it out of and you can visually move it and adjust it so that you're getting the best yield out of your sheet as possible minimizing your waste um, everything is pre-programmed and it is it is, um, it is all cut by computer program um, you select everything make sure the layout works to your best yield push the button to cut it and it cuts it out by by itself everything is loaded in there so if we do it once Everything's on a file, everything is on the, on the machine out there. All I have to do is go out there, change a blade, set my cutting parameters, and cut it out. Minutes. The, the flash cutter puts, put us in the business. You know, you talk about that lead time to make a steel die, or the, the knowledge of how to hand cut a die. All of that is out the window. We spend our money in, in the investment of the equipment. Our charge is is to go to the branches and ask them to go out and dig us up some, some gasket business so we can put our machine to work. We can cut gaskets quickly, efficiently, and be absolutely 100% competitive in the marketplace because we've got all the tooling necessary.